it's the beginning of December and this is the beginning of the holiday season where a lot of issues with domestic violence and mental health happens within our community. And here's an opportunity to ask you this question. Does domestic violence have a face? Well, the answer is domestic violence has many faces. We can look at individuals with various different backgrounds, various social economic backgrounds, different genders. And do we have to look at someone with domestic violence and look for a physical scar? It doesn't have to be that way. Domestic violence can come in many forms. And on that note, my name is Diane Madre. I'm asking you to join me together with our Caribbean groups, together with St. Lucia, Trinidad, Jamaica, and looking forward to Haiti this coming week. And what we're coming together to do is we're coming together to join forces with One Billion Rising for Justice in 2014 in an effort to showcase and highlight the issues that are coming against our women. Now, why do you ask I'm rising for One Billion Rising for Justice? I'm rising because I no longer want to see the issues against our women become a miscellaneous topic. I want to see our political leaders, our church groups, whether it's a Hindu, Christian, or Muslim churches, come together along with our NGOs to unite in one force so we can highlight the issues that are happening and make it such a stronger stance that I know that we cannot come together to say that we can eradicate domestic violence, but I know for sure we can find a way to minimize it. And how do we begin to do that? We begin to highlight that by building the awareness. But well, let's take it one step further, as Eve, from, a visionary from One Billion Rising, has stated. Take it one step forward for 2014 and begin to rise for justice. Let's look at issues that we need to highlight within our community, within our Caribbean nations. And I know those of you who I've spoken to on the issues that are happening within your country, we will begin to look at that and highlight that. And at some point in time, within the next two years, we will begin to join forces even stronger. So join us together for One Billion Rising on February 14, 2014. Let us create a united front amongst each of our countries, each of our Caribbean countries, and stand up for this fight that we're struggling with. It shouldn't have to be a fight, folks. So this is an opportunity. Here I am, I'm standing in Pennsylvania in this cold, and this is so important to me, and I'm hoping that it's so important to you that you, you can come together within your groups, within your um, organizations, and let us begin to look and highlight these issues that are so important to us. Remember again, I know we can't say we can eradicate this, and what we need to do is begin to minimize it and to eventually come to a point where we can say no more violence against our women. So this is your chance, folks. 2014 is the beginning of something new, rising for justice. I've spoken to many of you, so let's begin to highlight those issues and bring them at the forefront. So this way, our political leaders and our country can begin to look at these issues and make it a priority. That is the key goal. So I look forward to hearing your ideas and joining me on Caribbean One Billion Rising for Justice 2014. Caribbean One Billion Rising for Justice on our Facebook page or log in to www.cadva.org and you'll get more information there. Thank you.